What's up guys, so it is July 7th, and it is 6.14 in the morning, I have a sleeping problem, that's okay. Um, and I am here to show you how to fake your GPS location in Pokemon Go. And this, you know, obviously is the actual retail Pokemon Go. Just to show you, I can go to the Play Store, and actually search for it. And it is here. I know that doesn't prove much, but you can see that's actually in the Play Store now. So this is day of the release. It is uh, version 0.29, yada yada yada. So to do this, all you need is the APK files I'm going to include in the description, which are for Lucky Patcher and Fake GPS, and an Android phone that has root permission. So if you're not rooted, guys, get rooted. Uh, if you're on a Samsung phone, odds are you're going to have some issues <laughs> if you're on AT&T and Verizon. If you are on an iPhone, I apologize, this does not work on iOS. So, first things first, um, you're going to want to make sure you can install an APK file. So, if you go over to System Settings and Security, you want Unknown Sources over here to be on. If it's not already, you know, whatever. This lets you install APK files from the internet, and not all only from the Play Store. Uh, next thing you're going to need to do is install Lucky Patcher. So after you download the APKs um, and put them on your phone, uh, I recommend using ES File Explorer. So we'll go over to our downloads, and you'll see Lucky Patcher. Um, here, you can just press install, and from there, just install. Very easy. <coughs> then once you have Lucky Patcher installed, you open it. It's going to ask for root permission, just grant it, and I recommend pressing always because it's just going to keep asking for root permission over and over again. Um, and go over to the final tab here which says rebuild and install. Um, then you're going to want to navigate to where you download that second APK file, which I just put in the same folder anyway, which is um, fake GPS location spoofer, this one. Um, so I'll include that in the description as well. I'll just zip them together. And um, this one, you just click on it, and from here you want to hit Install a System App. This is where the root permission really comes in. Uh, technically, you don't need Lucky Patcher to do this. You could install it and convert it to a System App, but it is a lot easier this way. And either way, you do need root permission. So um, install it as a System App, and it's going to, I'll just show you, I already have it installed, but after you do it, it's going to ask you to reboot your phone. Uh, just let your phone reboot, and uh, it's going to take a slightly longer to boot than a normal boot, just because it has to, um, uh, what do you call it, does the Android upgrading thing, with uh, because you just installed a new app to the system apps. Um, anyway, so now you should see fake GPS in your app drawer. Um, awesome. So now you're pretty much good to go. Just one more thing. You have to go into fake GPS, hit the little dots on the top, and go to settings. You just need to tick expert mode on. This is another thing you need root for. So you want to have expert mode on. Um, and then leave everything else as is. Don't touch any of that. Just press back, and you're good. Now, um, just to kind of show you how we can, you know, move locations. I'm not going to go to my actual location because that's stupid. But uh, um, I have found one of the most populated places to get Pokemon is Central Park in New York. So I'm here and I press the play button on the bottom and it's saying fake location engaged. Um, so now simply open up Pokemon Go. Thank you Niantic, Niantic, whatever. And here we are. I can tell you right now, I do not live in Central Park. So this location is indeed true. Um, I apologize, it's lagging. There's a lot to load in Central Park, guys. Probably not the best example for this video, but you can see grass is flying everywhere. Also, I'm sure it's lagging in the video, 
It's lagging in real life. Ooh, what do we got? We got a Spiro. Ooh, Pinsir. I love Pinsir. So I didn't mean to get in a battle, now, but you guys are just gonna go for it. Um, I have noticed that I'm probably gonna let it go. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I've been capturing way too many Pokemon. If you capture too many in a row, it kind of makes your chance of actually catching them a little bit less likely, which I don't agree with. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. So we're gonna hold down our multitask button and switch over to fake GPS. Um, just to kind of show you, I can just move slightly, I'll go over to the volleyball courts, go, switch back to Pokemon. My character will run, there we go. Also, oh man, two more pinchers? Oh, this is, this is terrible. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go to California, shall we? So we're going to go back to fake GPS, and we're going to go to San Francisco. San Francisco. I can't spell. Whatever. And, uh, this corner looks nice. Let's go there. And now I'm going to give it a second just because Pokemon Go is all about that, uh, smooth location switching. So, jumping from place to place like this really confusing. Oh wow, San Francisco is a nice place too. I haven't visited here yet. So, I see some stuff over there. And just to kind of show you that this is actually San Francisco, you can see these, um, pokey stuff. That are only in San Francisco. So I'm going to go to actually some down the street. Let's go over here. Ooh, the griddle. This is a corner of poke and fell. I don't know if you're from San Francisco, but that is indeed there. Um, and yeah, so without just kind of rambling on, guys, this is how you do it. I have seen other videos um, where they try to fake the location, turn it off and on, switch real quick, um, and that doesn't work as well. It really is a lot better to have this particular app running with group permissions and expert mode. Um, is the only thing i found to actually work. If you do experience some issues, uh, I have noticed if you don't have your GPS settings on your phone set to high accuracy, it will not work. A lot of people think device only will be better, but it will not. And also, if you do experience any other sort of uh, issues, say if you're trying to go to other countries, I recommend using an app called Ola. So what this will let you do is run a VPN on Pokemon Go. So, say I wanted to go to Japan this way, as um, I'm connected to the internet, it's reading me from Japan. You know, stuff like that. So in this case, every time you'd open Pokemon Go, you just switch to the country here, and then press open there. Anyway guys, I hope uh, this helped you. Um, as you can see, from my Pokemon Go adventures, in about an hour and a half, I have caught a pincer, actually I've caught two pincers, a uh, horsey, I got a Bulbasaur, which is awesome, now I have two starters, because I already have Charmander, a uh, Caterpie, a few Rattatas, uh, a bunch of Weedles, so I got a Kuna now, and um, much more, so uh, a lot of guys I get rid of because I get multiples, but yeah, so you can catch Pokemon at a lot higher rates, like I said though, if you do catch them really quickly, it makes you start to miss, once you start, like they start actually not getting caught, Take a break for about an hour, you know, relax, and enjoy. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I hope this video helped everyone. So, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.